Greetings, my excellent friends, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Daily Scuba News. Okay, so the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation Reef Expedition was one of the biggest coral reef surveys ever carried out on planet Earth to date. All the data that was gathered was, of course, picked up and gathered by awesome scuba divers, so well done, team. But also, the team at KSLOF have now partnered up with a little company that you might have known, that you might know, you might have heard of. They're called NASA. So they're passing their entire database from the Coral Survey to NASA's AMES Research Center to help expand its own coral mapping capabilities. The reason behind this move is to boost NASA's projects to map the entire world's coral roof system so that all future changes can be tracked over time. So the data that's just been gathered will be put into the NEMO Net Neutral Network, which can classify recorded corals and plagiaras into the supercomputer that powers it. Also, NASA's Fluid Cam, which is a new remote sensoring instrument that can see underwater without any distortion, will allow reefs to be surveyed from drones and aircraft at the centimeter scale. And oh yeah, also in 3D, basically replacing scuba divers when it comes to surveying reef systems. KSLOF says, uh, with this combination of tools and information, Nemo Net maps will become more accurate, giving researchers and environmental managers better information about what's happening to coral reefs and how to protect them at the time when they're experiencing unprecedented pressures. For example, the data that's just been given to NASA took hundreds of scientists thousands of hours to study underwater coral and document it. With this new system in place, it's going to take a lot less time to track how coral reef systems are. Perhaps maybe track it in real time as well. And using this system also means teams can now cover even more coral systems in the world. So yeah, divers might be out of a job because of it, but the quicker we get the data, the quicker we can process the data, the quicker we can, funnily enough, react to the data and see what actually is happening with our reefs all over the world. And if all this works out, it really is a game changer in the fight against climate change. NASA are also working to get Joe Bloggs in on the action with its new game called NASA's Nemo Net. The game lets the player help NASA classify coral reefs. In the game, you can travel the world and help spread the word of how important reef systems are. Now, that's pretty cool for Joe Bloggs. If you're interested in that game, we have popped it down in the comments below. Anyway, that's it for today. What do you think about this move? Will it work? Is this the way forward when it comes to tackling climate change and reef protection? Let us know in the comments. Got a scuba diving question for Ask Mark? Well, just type in your question in the comments and use the hashtag Ask Mark and we will add it to the show. Did you know that the Surface Interval Deep Dive and Ask Mark and of course Decoast.go go live first as a podcast before hitting YouTube and Instagram? You can listen to those shows wherever you get your podcasts. If you're watching this on Instagram, then why not heart the video and share it in your stories. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy, scuba divers.